Hi, I'm Sana from Books and Quills. Originally from the Netherlands, I moved to the UK six years ago. I make videos about books, language, culture, and the publishing industry. Everyone's got something that they're passionate about, and vlogging is a great way of sharing it with the world. Today, with the help of Canon, I'll be giving you a look behind the scenes and sharing with you how I make my videos. All right, let's get started. First of all, and probably the most important, is of course my camera, the Canon EOS 250D. The image quality is really beautiful, and it's definitely one of my favorite things about the camera. It makes it really easy to edit, and I don't need to do much to the footage after filming to get it looking the way I want. It has a screen that you can adjust to different angles. You can see yourself while you're setting up and filming and get the shot just right. The 250D has incredible autofocus. You just look straight into the lens and it pinpoints your eye. So that's one less thing for me to worry about. I also love that you can swap out the lenses to get the exact look you want. All the functions and settings can be a bit overwhelming to start with, but all you need to do is try them out and see what works for you. If you're a complete beginner, auto mode takes care of everything. And the Canon Photo Companion app is also available if you want to learn as you go. A lot of vloggers use softboxes and reflectors, but I don't usually need them. Luckily, the light from my window is good enough for me to achieve the look I want. I can set my camera to automatically even out any contrast between light and shade, so my face stays well lit. My tip would be to find somewhere with the most natural light to film in, and take advantage of bright days. I'll also use my favorite lenses to help get the clear and bright footage you see in my videos. This camera works with a huge range of lenses, and I pick mine with a wide aperture to make the most of the light. Anything between f1.4 and f2.8 works really well for me. I have a standard setup in my room, as it's nice to have a consistent backdrop, but also because that way I can set up to film really quickly, since I know where everything should be. I use a tripod and often film while standing, because I feel like it gives me more energy. And I use different lenses depending on whether it's just me talking to camera or doing something a bit different. I'll probably use a wider angle lens if I'm filming with a guest, and switch to a lens with a beautiful depth of field if I'm shooting close-up shots. Let's talk about sound. Audio is a really important part of the viewing experience, so make sure you don't forget about it when you're figuring out your setup. I'm usually quite close to my camera when filming, so for ages I used the built-in microphone, which is really good. If you've got more background noise or want to step up your audio quality like I did, then you can use an external shotgun microphone. You just pop it on top of the camera, plug it in, and the sound and footage will sync up automatically. That's my process, but there's no right or wrong. I think a lot of people get hung up on all the prep and equipment, trying to make their first video absolutely perfect. My best advice is to find a spot you're comfortable in and just start shooting. No one's first video is going to be their best one, so as long as you just start and have something you're passionate about, you'll learn everything you need to know along the way. I hope this has inspired you to start shooting and sharing, whatever it is you're passionate about. If you'd like to know a bit more about how other vloggers create their videos, check out the rest of the content on the Canon vlogging page. Doei!